here this morning. Um, lots of fellowship going on. So uh, we have our uh, we have a lot of guests this morning. Uh, we have our uh, officers from the Queen Anne's Interact Club here, and we wanted to get started a little early because they need to run out to uh, another meeting. But let me just uh, list off who's with us this morning. Uh, so from uh, the Interact Club, we have Paige Todd, who is the president. Paige Todd. Is the vice president. I have Corey, who is the secretary. We have Mallory, the treasurer. We have Taylor, who is the communications coordinator. We also have Bob Willis, who is the advisor to the board. Some folks from the Board of Ed. So we have our new interim superintendent, Greg Kaluski, down at the end there. Good we have Mark Farley here, Good he's uh, human resources. Good and then I, I guess I'm going to announce him as a guest, but he's really almost, a, we're hoping to get him as a member soon. We have Vance over there. <laughs> and uh, Hillary uh, is a guest as well. So uh, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Oh, I have, well, Jeff is over there with the camera. Hey, Jeff. Okay, so I'm really not going to uh, get into my stuff because I want to get you guys, our interactors, in and out. So I think they're going to just come up and talk to us. Is Greg going to introduce them? So, Greg, do you want to come up and introduce our uh, interactors and we'll let them give us a presentation? And then we'll do our happy dollars and stuff after. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. good morning, and thank you for the opportunity for me to be here today and to meet you. You know, one of the common threads that Queen County Public Schools has in common uh, with the support of our local roadway is this common thread of service. And that is such an important component that is really in deep alignment with our school system. You know, often when we talk about college and career ready, it has changed the conversation in our school system to what does it mean to be civic ready? And that is a conversation that keeps changing, that what would it mean for Queens County Public School students to graduate civic ready? And I think this notion of giving back is such an important component. You know, I recently had a conversation with uh, Commissioner Anderson, and we have a deep conversation about uh, education. And one of the phrases that he often talks about, that I really like, he talks about learning, earning, and returning. And I think that returning piece is so vital. And I think that connects to this work of service, that connects to this partnership, and I think this notion uh, of not only service and civic ready, but this notion of diversity as well, and embracing diversity. So this morning, I thank you. I thank you for the partnership and um, your support of our Interact Club, of both of our high schools. And this morning, I had a great opportunity to learn a little bit of the history of kind of how it got off the ground. And I think it's a wonderful thing, and there's great momentum. And I'd like at this time, and I think it's probably one of the greatest quotes you could ever receive from a student. And that is, I heard a student say the other day, Mr. Willis is really a rock star. <laughs> and, I, and I think any time is probably one of the greatest compliments that you could ever get uh, from a student. And, and Mr. Willis, I think that speaks volumes uh, to the impact that you have on our community and our school system and to our youngest leaders. And I appreciate that. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you. So I guess that means I can loosen my tie, <laughs> uh, my hair grow, and so we're here to come <laughs> um, No, first I just, uh, I want to say, actually, please come on up. Um, I'll have them all up together. Um, with Interact, and I'm not going to say too much about it because they all have all the information to here. Basically what we want to do. This is, and, and yeah, we, you introduced them as president, vice president, but really they're a leadership team. And with the number of kids that we've had, it's been growing. Um, and probably what you end up having, and just to be brutally honest with it, is a lot of times kids will join because 
parents will say, oh, this looks really good on your resume. You know, you want to go to college, so you need to do this. And, and so, yeah, they, they kind of come along and they put it in there. And, and that's fine. But at some point, we want to try to have something. And what kind of said to these ladies is, and to others is, that's fine if that's what it takes to get you there. But then when we're doing service and you get involved and you start to see some of the impact it makes, it's nice to see that change occur to where it's like, well, wait a minute, maybe there is something more to this. And, and you start to see them. And I think a lot of these ladies that are up here, kind of, they understand that. They've seen it. This is a great, so far this year, it's been a great group to work with. A lot of times I don't really need to say too much. They just, they, I see an email come through and it's, are we doing this? Are they, ha are, is this happening? You know, they're asking questions because, and they're thinking about it. And that's a great thing to see. So I'm not gonna say too much. I want them to talk about the club. It is theirs, um, it's not mine. Um, they, they're the ones that uh, raise the funds, that do the things and, and come up with the ideas and work forever trying to find things that work. So, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Paige Todd. I'm the president of Interact. I've been at Interact since my freshman year, and I was vice president last year. Uh, this year has been really good and really successful. Our club size is 163, about. And in the past years, it's been about like around 120 ish. So, we've gotten a lot of support and lots of support out. And I'm just talking about like the meeting and the club in general, and then these ladies will get into the specifics of everything. And so uh, we have two meetings every month. Uh, we have the first Wednesday and then the third Tuesday of every month. We try because everyone has sports and stuff, so we try to get everyone to come as much as they can. Um, and then uh, our meeting structures is just reviewing of new projects, and we plan for upcoming events as well. We keep attendance and all that. Um, some past projects that we've done and still continue to do are the main one. Well, we started this one, it's the first time we did it was last year, and it's Stop Harder Now. And everyone really enjoys Stop Harder Now. And if you don't know what that is, it's the, um, we have a group of Stop Harder Now come in, and we package a bunch of just like little food items that get shipped off to an undeveloped country. And it went really well. We packaged about 10,000 10, 10, packages. Yeah. And they go out to families. We went through the year. Where did they go to? El Salvador, Haiti, Syria, and then Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> and it is an expensive thing to do, but we're going to try and get it again this year, and it looks like that we might be able to do that. So we're really excited about that. Uh, another thing that we have is the triathlon. Uh, we've been doing it for about three years now, and uh, they just have us come out and we volunteer. We work at the water station. We have direct people. My first year, we were writing numbers on people. <laughs> it's a really fun time. And then we have the Artisans Festival. You all know what that is. <laughs> and then uh, we have Operation Christmas Child, which we do pretty much every year since I've been known for another even longer. And it's just the packaging of. Like we have boxes shipped to each classroom and we just bring in stuff for kids of different ages and then they get shipped out from around the world. And then another thing that we do is the canned food drive. Uh, Ken Island with his Queen Anne's is usually at a football game, us versus them. And last year we raised about 200,000 cans. Right. No, it was about $250 It went to uh, one of the local food pantries and it was about a pickup truck load of oh, yeah. cans and food. And then, what else we've had? We've had uh, guest speakers in the past years. This last, uh, the past year we've had Wells for Ghana. Uh, we've had the animal shelter come out and talk to us last year, which was really cool. Uh, we had rotary representatives, of course, and uh, Kenny Wood, and we've had the Calgary. Apple's Burry Food Bank, which is one of the, where we send our food, the food drive and stuff. And then, last thing I have is our induction dinner. We have it every year. It's the induction of new members. It's also the induction of new officers. And every member, uh, they receive a little pin and a nice t-shirt. And that's it. That's all I have. Hannah.
It's a lot of participation, but it's also very costly, so we're probably gonna have to do some more fundraising. So if you guys have any fundraising ideas, or do <laughs> Everybody's staying participating and 
we require four participations during the year, which isn't bad uh, considering all the projects that we're doing. Um, and as Mr. Willis said, this isn't like definitive roles. We all kind of help each other out as far as um, our responsibilities go, so it's not overwhelming for any one of us. Um, and then we all um, also have like our ideas as far as um, service that's coming in. I have one from one of the guys that works with my dad. He um, is a detective for Annapolis City Police Department and he started a project called the Blue Ribbon Project and one of them is Backpacks for Love. So what they do is they assemble backpacks that will um, <clears throat> go to kids that are going into foster care. So they're all um, specific to age, they're specific to gender, so um, he has like a list of like everything that goes into the backpack, so um, they've been looking at needing ones for like infants, small kids, so anybody wants to look at that, that would be online. It's the Blue Ribbon Project, and it's run by Taylor Piles, so if anybody wants to look at that, that would be very helpful. <laughs> so, back to Taylor. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, I did know about the sign. Just didn't know that would be as interactive or changing. Never signed up. So yeah, my name is Sean Shepard. I'm a senior this year. I've been a communications officer. This is my second year doing this. I have a pretty easy job, just kidding, but uh, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Google Classroom. We all have laptops this year from the school system. Um, so a lot of us use Google Classrooms already in our classes, so we just made one for the internet club so people could know what day's meetings are, um, what projects we're doing, if they missed a meeting, I normally put on there what was said, who was there, etc., etc. So most of the students, well not most, but I can tell who's in the classroom and who's not. So we do have a good chunk of the new members that we just found out that aren't in the classroom. So um, I'm going to be telling them to join. So yeah, that's pretty much my job. I, we also, um, we put on the announcements in the morning what day you're being for, when the meetings are, like just to remind kids because they kind of forget sometimes. But uh, yeah. Um, and you do some email job. stuff too. Yeah, I do email people. I do all that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much my job. <laughs> so, I think, Lauren, and you kind of, hopefully, you can hear the roles there. But um, it's a lot of tracking when you start talking about 163, making sure they know. I, we've had some, I'll call it complaints that, oh, we don't know what's going on. And so, you hear some of those. And so, we will end up talking about those kinds of things that come up and try to address it through whether it's Google Classroom or so that so that students know. Um, the other thing too to keep in mind with all this is all these kids are involved in other things, and I think a lot of times we can tend to lose sight of all that they're involved in. You have some that how many of you are doing sports? <laughs> so you have a, you know most all of them are doing a sport in one season or another, and trying to find balance that along with academics and everything else. I mean, it's good training, um, but also it's, it's helpful for them to, and for all of us to say that, hey, we got to look beyond ourselves sometimes and, and see what we can do to help others. So these guys are just a great bunch. So, and we appreciate you having us. Yeah, we know you guys, uh, so uh, I think it was great that you guys came to us so early in the year, and I think we've been talking about we'd like to maybe collaborate with you a little bit more, so if it's with fundraising or a project, um, I think Bob are, is uh, Bob Hardy and yeah, our vice president. president. You know, so we're going to coordinate to try to work with you guys, because it's great to have you here, and to hear it's such a, a, a big part of the school. Yeah. So that's nice cool. to see you. Thank you for all you do. Okay, can we stand for the four-way test, please? <laughs> Things that we think, say, or do first. Is it true? Second. Is it fair all concerned? Third. Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And fourth. Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you.